Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. So the video that you're about to see is a little bit of a walkthrough that I put together. We were invited to bid on upgrading the Wi-Fi at a 73-room hotel. I'm not going to give the hotel name or any anything like that, but uh, we will see some of the hotel in the walkthrough. And I'm going to talk as we go through the the walkthrough. I'm going to strip out all the audio there and you're going to, I'm just going to voice over the whole time and kind of explain what things are. So if you think that's going to be boring, you can go ahead and tune out now. Otherwise strap in, get yourself a drink and we'll get to it here. Okay. This is the manager on duty and she showed me around the hotel first. Now the hotel is 73 rooms, three floors. There's a breakfast area there's a gaming area there's a bar there's a pool there's a workout area she's explaining to me that uh, most people think that the wi-fi is okay but that it could probably be a little better which is why they contacted us and she showed me around we were looking for the wi-fi equipment she didn't really know where it was at this is the pool area, a pretty nice little pool for being an indoor pool. And so we looked in several rooms. She wasn't a hundred percent sure the owner of the property wasn't there. Uh, we did eventually find it and there is one Unify, uh, and that is an AC pro that's, that's one. And then we're going to come up on a second AC Pro right there. So that's one floor. One floor completely covered by two APs. And this is how they did the entire property. There were two on each floor. So in certain areas, we're getting pretty decent coverage. Now you can see that those were mounted on the wall. And... Um, they, they worked okay. So now we're going to go up to the third floor and we're going to find the APs on the third floor. So this, when you're looking at this, you're going to notice that the mounting of the gear was different for each floor. So I almost walked, well, I did walk by one and then you're going to see that we'll turn around and find it. So here is number three. So these are mounted in a different orientation. And here's number four right here. So these are mounted ceiling facing down. So now we've got two different floors that are going to have two very different experiences. Now, here is the last floor. Here's the first AP. You can see the blue uh, ring on that one. They did have them shut off on the other ones. So we will walk to the other side. And we'll get down here. You can see they've got plenty of security cameras. And here is the last access point. This is number six. So these six APs are providing Wi-Fi for all 73 rooms. Now, the advantage that we do have is each room has cat five run directly to it already. So here's the server room. You can see there's the Comcast gateway. We've got some Cisco switches there. There's some Luxel equipment up there. If you're not familiar with Luxel, uh, they are uh, an audio company that makes routers and switches. And then we've got a Mitel phone system there to the right. Then here, this is where all of the phone wiring comes in, goes to the rooms. And then to the right of this, which you'll see when we, we pan over here, is you'll see the Cat5 that actually comes in and feeds each one of those faceplates. So we've got, they used, they used you know Cat5 throughout the building which is really nice so our official quote actually includes 75 access points there's 73 guest rooms that we would put in wall access points in then we would 
take down the other Unify access points, replace them with some different access points to get some coverage in the pool area, the bar area, things like that. You didn't get to see the breakfast area, but there's a, a faceplate there with Cat5 running to it, so we would swap that out. So that makes 74 in-wall access points. I would buy 75 to have one on the shelf, just in case anything would go wrong. We also quoted replacing their switches and their firewalls so that we can do all kinds of end-to-end -end quality of service. Now, some of the gear is not ubiquity, but I'm not going to give away the parts list right now because I don't know who else I have bid against. I do know that all of the bids came in a little higher than the property owner expected. I do believe that we are still in the running, but that they are not going to proceed with this till later in the year at this point. So it's not a cheap project to redo hotel Wi-Fi and do it correctly. However, having Cat 5, Cat 5e, to each room saved this property owner thousands of dollars. And this is actually, in my opinion, the best way to do it, to put an in-wall access point in each room so in wall access point replacing the switches replacing the firewall changing the location of some of those other six access points that you saw that were actually feeding the entire hotel so that we get better coverage in some of the public areas like the pool the workout area the business conference room things like that so we're hoping that we do get it they were nice enough to let us film which is fantastic so if you've got any questions about how we quoted things why we quoted things you know put those down in the comments i'm happy to answer any questions about our methodologies and, and why we do those things so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment please share please follow me on twitter and instagram come on over to our discord channel the link's down there if you are looking for wi-fi voice over IP, uh, wired networking, security consulting, any of those good things, head on over to h5llc.com, fill out that contact form, and we'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you want to purchase any of our merchandise, the link is down there for that. And as always, if you want to buy anything you've seen us use here on the channel, we do have that Amazon affiliate link down below. I want to thank you again for taking time out of your day to come watch this video. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.